Hi, welcome to my channel, AKB Bags, and my name is Andrea, and you are joining me in the Babe Cave today. So, if you want to see my most wearable bags, yeah, I'm not in the video today, I looked rather bleh after the shower. <laughs> so, if you want to know my most wearable bags and how I came up with them, then hold tight, and I will show you five of them that I think are most wearable bags. I want to thank Eva for tagging me on this most wearable bags and what my opinions were. And so go ahead and check her out. I'll link her video on this subject below. And if you're coming from her channel, go ahead and subscribe to mine. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Eva. So my first bag and the reasons why I consider it most wearable is a TJ Maxx find that I did a video on, so I'll try to link that below. But yeah, the reason why I would consider this, oh, and I added a coach charm, my lips, love them, um, would be, I, I at least need two out of the three choices. I need top handle, I need a crossbody or a shoulder strap. So if it can come up with two out of the three, then that would be my most wearable bag. Plus, um, this is not leather. Um, so another wearable bag to me would be if it can get rained on or snowed on or, um, you know, any of, any of the elements outside that it wouldn't ruin the bag as well. So has to have two out of the three, which this has, of course, the wooden top handle. So cute. And it's in this, like, mm, like a caramel brown color. And then it's a magnetic opening. Has two sides. Oh, and some trash. <laughs> and then inside it has the strap, which is crossbody. Which I think you can shorten to a shoulder strap if you would like. So there is the reason that this got chosen because it's all weather. It's the perfect size. Um, it's like a medium sized bag. It's got top handle and it could be crossbody or shoulder. So perfect for when you're out shopping or, you know, out for the day and not worried about weather or, you know, any kind of uh, problems to the leather that so that is my first one. Next is a coach bag that I got years and years ago. And it's the only bag in this specific like orange color that I have. And I paired it with a the Amazon Charm Bear. It looks like Damier a bean print. But yeah, this has a nice shoulder strap. And then of course the top handles. And here's a little spin of that. And it's in the fabric. And then this is the leather. I got it at a Coach Outlet. One of my favorites that I will not let go of. It's very comfortable to wear. And then here is the inside. And it's got this silk type of material inside. And then there's the Coach tag. So yeah, this top handle... I can wear it whenever, whatever weather. Uh, it does have feet on the bottom. I know it's important to us. No back pocket, but love the khaki color with the cream and the, the orange. So that's number two most wearable bag. Number three, I don't wear that much, um, but it has the criteria of pebbled leather. It's my... Uh, Dooney and Burke top handle. I think it's the zip zip satchel. <laughs> and it has the feet on the bottom. I added this coach charm. I thought it looked good with it. Um, you know, it zips all the way down. I don't use it that much, but really it can be for, it has the top handle and it has the shoulder strap and the leather can get wet. And so here's the inside. And here's the strap. And so you attach the strap 
on each side, which is not my favorite. It's probably why I don't use the strap that much, but it is possible. And I believe the color on this is strawberry, if you were wondering. But yeah, top handle, shoulder, good. You can wear it while you're shopping or out for the grocery store or whatever. So the Dooney and Burke Zip Zip Satchel would be number three. Number four is my coach little Rowan satchel. And I paired it with this awesome pineapple because it's so cute. And it goes with the bag with the yellow. I tend to wear this bag in the summertime. Um, this was in the coach outlet with all the colors because I love multicolor anything. Um, so there's the... The braided strap so yeah it has the the top handle of course and this is a coated canvas oh it was rudely interrupted by a dog all you cat lovers out there with on youtube i know that they don't interrupt you like they do at my house <laughs> with the barking but anyway back to what i was saying it's a coated canvas you know coach rowan satchel um it could go through any weather and it has the feet on the bottom. And I know they redid this. Um, this is the first time they came out with this rainbow colored one. You know, it has this easy access front pocket. And then the inside is this burgundy color. And then I changed the rainbow strap, which I still have the rainbow strap, but I'm not a fan of the rainbow strap. Um, so I switched it to this one. I had it with another coach bag. So I decided that this is eh, kind of close. Um, so I wear, I can wear it as a shoulder bag as well with this strap. So that is my coach Rowan in the beautiful multicolor. Love it. Love it. Here's a, no back pocket. Here's a spin again. And there's number four. My number five uh, made it into the most wearable because of it being pebbled leather. It's a Dooney and Burke satchel. Um, and it used to be called the small satchel. Now it's called the satchel. Um, has the braided handles. It's in that pale blue color. Um, so normally I wouldn't call this an everyday bag, but it holds a lot. And also, um, you know, it's a little on the heavy side. I don't know if you are familiar with their satchels, but they're, they tend to be a little heavy. But I have worn this a lot, and most of the time I have the shoulder strap on. So I have paired it with my chubby duck, Dooney duck, right here. And of course it has the satchel, or satchel, <laughs> the tassels on the side. No back pocket, unfortunately, but it does have the feet on the bottom. So, um, yeah, this, I, because it's heavy, uh, I wouldn't have called it every day, but since it has the strap, which I'll show you now, that's why I'm calling it, because the heaviness doesn't bother me, but it is stuffed, and here is the shoulder strap. I don't wear these crossbody. I bought this brand new so there's a little bit of glazing issues because I've used it so much but I won't get rid of it either. But it has that pretty you know red interior. So yeah this top handle where I can grab it and go out of the car. All weather pebbled leather. Beautiful pale blue color quick spin again yep those are my most wearable bat I have more <laughs> obviously I have more but these are the reasons for me anyway that are most wearable they got to have a top handle and a either a crossbody or a shoulder strap to consider most wearable to me so if you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and the comment. Give me a 
which one do you think, or which bag do you uh, carry the most that's the most wearable to you? And tell me uh, what you think of my bags <laughs> and why I chose them. Uh, is that how you choose your everyday bags um, when you're doing certain uh, things out on the town? So anyway, thank you again. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in a future video. Bye.